Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Brendan Grunewald from Movely Media. How are you today, Brendan? I'm very well, thank you, Jesse. Brendan, I want to start by congratulating you and your deal that you announced. Uh, Movely builds into HubSpot Media Bridge and launches new integration. How about we start there? Can you tell us the highlights of that particular deal? We've looked to integrate Movely into a number of different platforms to build value in our own platform, add value to our customers, and also obviously get access to other people and exposure to other people's clients and make it easy for them to work with Movely. Uh, and HubSpot is a great example of that. Uh, certainly, over the last couple of months, we've seen more and more interest from companies coming to Movely who are looking to use Movely in outbound video messaging, whether that be for sales or marketing. And of course, HubSpot being a leader in that space uh, was, a, was an easy choice for us to obviously go and uh, make that technical integration. And we're very proud to be uh, one of the initial launch partners uh, that was able to get into their, their media bridge program and uh, in doing so make this uh, the ability for our clients and their clients to send video messages very easily out uh, as part of their sales and marketing activities. So Brendan, I can't tell you how often I tell people, you know, review the top Fortune 500 billionaires on the planet and they all have investments in media. So I tell everybody, make sure that you have media in your portfolio. Can you provide Investor Intel audience members with some compelling, your top two reasons why Movely Media is a leader as a rising star in the media sector? Well, I think, firstly, we're the only public company in our space. Uh, so in terms of access to the space on our direct competitors, the only access to anyone else in the space is through a private equity or venture capital fund. Uh, so I'd say that is one, just access. But secondly, uh, we are more and more winning deals in this space uh, and we have a long list of customers and testimonials from large corporations, small, medium businesses and educators that say we have the best platform and the best solution on the market. So we're pretty confident that we're a market leader in the space. And um, you know, we're executing a strategy now, which uh, we believe is, is, is solid. And for the first time in a couple of years, we've now got real money to be able to execute that strategy. So we're in the phase really of now executing to deliver on that uh, that commitment to execute our, our value to our shareholders and uh, in doing so bring more revenue, bigger customers. And very more importantly, we are seeing more and more partners come online and they are actually going to help us accelerate into foreign markets. Speaking of partners, you also just announced a new Asian partner, Singapore based travel specialist. I, I love the name of this company, A Rich Globe. Yeah, they're a company that's been around for about 30 years. They're specialists in a couple of areas. Uh, what's really interesting is we're seeing growth in Asia. We're seeing growth also in other geographies like the Middle East and others. And um, you know, it's important that we have local representation there, both from a language perspective and also uh, you know, from an access to the market. Uh, Rich Globe is an innovative company. Uh, what's nice about them is they're actually a customer and a reseller. Uh, and so they actually use the product uh, and will be working with us going forward to more and more integrate with some of their own product offerings, which I think is most exciting for us. Um, and as you know, we recently also made our platform multilingual so that not only can you make content in multiple language, but you can actually use the tool. And so a lot of these different partners are helping us localize our own product so that it is more suitable for those local markets. Well, in full disclosure, Investor Intel utilizes Movely licenses for our video platform. Um, and I want to just ask you a question. I, I, I call you Video King with my peers. Can you tell us a little bit more about where video is presently? Say you're a company out there and you're trying to advertise or you're trying, you've got breaking news. Uh, I know you're at the forefront of understanding this market. Can you just enlighten us, please? I think it's sort of common knowledge, becoming common knowledge that video is the way to communicate nowadays. Nobody wants to read PDFs. Nobody follows manuals. But the quick question has always been, how do you make that content in a cost-effective way? And traditionally, that's either been either expensive or involves specialist skill sets. We, amongst others, have helped to make this available to a, a lot lower cost. But I think the real thing that we are seeing now is volume. People are not just looking to make a video. They're looking to make larger and larger volumes of video. 
And I think that is really where we see the trend going in the future is how do you make large volumes of video that are appealing and also affordable? And I think that uh, certainly the market as we've seen it, there's more and more demand now, particularly things like personalization, things like interactivity uh, and making those videos in volume, but also making them more engaging. Well, in addition to that, you just recently announced the, the translation aspect of your service. So I can take one of my videos and make it Japanese, or is, what kind of limits are there on this particular translation service? Well, we're using artificial intelligence uh, programs, so I mean that you need to realize that. And what we're, we've got over 300 different voices in there and multiple lang- over 100 languages. So there are multiple voices per language that you choose as well in some cases. Um, the reality is that if you look at the power of what we've done is you, we also have an automated transcoding. So we could upload, let's say, this clip of me speaking now into Movely. We could then click a button and we could have my text, my voice being turned into a text ticker uh, as a kind of a subtitle at the bottom of, my, of this video automatically. We could then click on that text and we could then translate it into Japanese, as you say, in which case you would hear me speaking English and after two clicks, you'd have a subtitle in Japanese of what I was saying underneath that. Uh, So that's pretty powerful technology that is already built into our our platform and is specifically uh, something that is used and was high demand from our multinational larger corporate clients. Well, Brendan, I know you're intensely busy. I've watched your your output of news releases here this last quarter. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you will interview with us more regularly. Well, stay tuned. I'm sure there's plenty of news to come, and we look forward to speaking to you again.